In this movie, I'll show you your final zoom option, which is to dial in a custom zoom value, which is great for establishing a wide centered view. When I first open this image on this particular screen, it comes in at 16.7%, which is just too far away. If I press Control-0 or Command-0 on the Mac to fit the image to the screen, you can see that Photoshop is conservative, leaving a fair amount of pasteboard around the edge, which can be useful when you're trying to edit the image all the way to its perimeter. But in my case, I don't want to see any of the pasteboard. If I press Control Plus or Command Plus on the Mac, I go to the next increment, 25%, which ends up cutting off the side of the model's face. So I need to find something in between. I'll go ahead and press Control Zero or Command Zero on the Mac to zoom back out. Notice you have this custom zoom value down here in the lower left corner of the image window. And so you can dial in your own value. For example, I'll enter 20% and then press the enter key or the return key on the Mac in order to zoom just slightly in. But that's not quite far enough. And you can see how this would get to be a little bit laborious after a while. So here's the most precise way to work. I'll click inside this value and then I'll press the up arrow key a couple of times, let's say, to take that value to 22%. I don't know if that's gonna work because Photoshop's not previewing the zoom on the fly. However, if I press shift enter or shift return on a Mac, then I can apply that value while keeping it active. And I can see that 22% still leaves a little bit of edge over here on the left. So I'll press the up arrow key one more time to take that value to 23%. And then I'll press shift enter or shift return again. And I can see that 23% is exactly what I want. Here's another way to work with the option. If you want to be able to preview the zooms on the fly, you press and hold the control key or the command key on the Mac. And notice that your cursor changes to the scrub cursor, meaning that you can now scrub the value. So if I scrub to the right, I'm going to zoom in on the fly. And if I scrub to the left, I'm going to zoom out on the fly. And I can do so with a great deal of precision because basically every pixel that I scrub translates to a single percentage of zoom. When you figure out the zoom ratio that works for you, just press the enter key or the return key on the Mac in order to exit that value. And that's how you zoom with the ultimate in precision control here inside Photoshop.